Hello everyone and welcome to the Acumet channel. Today we're excited to be reviewing Kuing KF94 face masks. We purchased them through their website. Here's the listing. They come in a pack of 50 for $29.24. Now let's go ahead and take a look at these masks before we run them through our TSI machine. Here's the box right here. Let me go ahead and take one of these out. Here's how the packaging looks. I do like the KF94s because of their packaging. They're all individually wrapped and they're wrapped really nice. Um, I don't know what that says uh, environmentally speaking. I don't know if they use reusable plastic, but that's not what we're testing. We're testing the filtration efficiency and the pressure drop. That's the most important thing. Nonetheless, I do like the packaging and I do like the trifold style mask. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out. Now it did state on the website that these are a kid's mask. So obviously it's going to be a slightly tighter fit on me. We're going to go ahead and first the ear loop. Okay. Uh, <laughs> ear loops aren't that good. Let's try another one. Gonna pop this one open. Move this out of the way. Okay, so again, ear loops. Okay, well that, okay, so that's two so far. So this third one, I'm not gonna pull on the ear loops. I think we have a, a pretty good understanding they're not that durable. So let's avoid the ear loops and let's go with the nose wire. Nose wire? Nose wire is not too bad. Nose wire is not too bad. Um, it seems like where they lack in the uh, ear loops, they made up for in the nose wire. Okay. Again, nose wire is fine. We're going to go ahead and slap one of these on. Okay, I have the mask on and the breathability is pretty good. I don't know if that's because it keeps sliding because again, it's a small mask. It's not going to fit me the same way it would fit a child. But again, the nose wire, it does hang on to, uh, to the bridge of my nose really well. Uh, I'm a little concerned of the ear loops. I'm concerned of just messing with it at all because they're really, really weak. Since it is a child's mask, it does have a little bit of a leakage. Again, because it's smaller. Now let's try out the smell test. It smells like a new Kleenex box, so not a bad smell. Now, let's go ahead and run these masks through our TSI machine and see how they hold up. This is our TSI machine, model 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is also inspired by NIOSH. We first run the tester setup and start removing the headband or ear loop bands from the respirator or mask before placing it on the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there are no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on the TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with breathability, so the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample had a filtration percentage of 79.7 .7, with a pressure drop of 9.1 millimeters of water. The second sample had a filtration percentage of 71.6 with a pressure drop of 8.1 millimeters of water.
The last sample had a filtration percentage of 79.6 with a pressure drop of 8.3 millimeters of water. Okay, so we're back from testing. I did not expect those results. Uh, I was expecting anywhere from, you know, 93, 93 to 96, a minimum of 94 because that's what they're advertising. But to test that low, I mean, yeah, the breathability is good, but the filtration was abysmal. They didn't even come close. Uh, again, the pressure drop was excellent. I love that pressure drop. But that doesn't really matter when the mask doesn't give you the protection you need. In conclusion, if you're looking for a safe mask, I would definitely, definitely not recommend this one. I really hope you found this video helpful. Please let us know which mask we should test next. If you'd like to send us a mask or respirator, take a look at our description box below where I'll be leaving our address along with our website and master testing data sheet. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in our next video.